I love edutainment and learning about how business works by watching movies and TV shows is so much fun. So what I want to share with you are my humble top 10 business movies based on my thoughts and my favorite shows as well to watch to learn about business uh, while being extremely entertained. So number 10, we have Wall Street. And Michael Douglas got the Academy Award for Best Actor for playing a greedy, unethical uh, capitalist, Gordon Gekko, 1987. And we can actually learn a lot about ethics in business and what is wrong about insider trading, okay, by watching this masterpiece of a performance. The problem, though, is, th is this. Um, so many Wall Street veterans over the past couple decades they watched this movie over and over and over again when they were younger. And they saw Gordon Gekko, uh, meaning uh, Michael Douglas, as a hero. And you can argue that the 2008 crash was due to the influence of the greed of Gordon Gekko. And, and Michael Douglas actually hates this. Uh, he hates it when he's in New York where he lives. And many Wall Street executives come up to him on the street and say, thank you. Your movie influenced me to get a job on Wall Street. Uh, and with, as with all Hollywood movies, the rich dude loses in the end. It is what it is. Number nine, The Wolf of Wall Street. Leonardo DiCaprio's performance was brilliant here. And this movie had some pretty funny parts as, as well. Um, and this is another movie to watch to learn what not to do uh, when it comes to uh, investing. And the crazy thing is, though, that many people watching the movie want to work in the investment industry because of it and how it seems so much fun to work on a trading floor. And what really bothers me, though, is how the criminal that DiCaprio plays in the movie named uh, Jordan Belfort, this criminal in real life is admired now by so many wannabe Wall Street investors. Number eight, too big to fail. This one is awesome. This masterpiece explains in layman's terms what really happened in 2008. And, and I think the best way to learn about the 2008 crisis is to watch this movie called Too Big to Fail. And Paul Giamatti's uh, performance playing Federal Reserve Chairperson Ben Bernanke was amazing. Okay, as was uh, William Hurt's uh, portrayal of Treasury Secretary uh, Hank Paulson. And the movie was written by Andrew Ross Sorkin, who is the best finance journal journalist on the planet. He really does his research. And this brings us to number seven, which is TV show Billions, which is also created in part by Andrew Ross Sorkin. Now, I used to work in the hedge fund industry and the criminal Bobby Axelrod in the show, he represents a criminal hedge fund billionaire in real life. And many of the episodes are actually based on real events that occurred uh, that we know about involving other billionaire crooked hedge fund owners. And Paul Giamatti, um, uh, he plays the role of the district attorney brilliantly on Billions. And his character is actually based on two people. The ethical part of his character is based on Preet Bharara. And the unethical part of his character is based on Elliot Spitzer. You can Google both those names if you want to. Number six, if you want to learn more about private equity and how the industry works, then you can watch a movie called Other People's Money. Because Danny DeVito here, he plays the part of Larry the Liquidator, it's a fun movie. He plays the part of Larry the Liquidator uh, who works in private equity. And Larry the Liquidator in the movie wants to dismantle a company as it's worth more dead than alive. Number five, oh, this is a goodie. Number five is Succession, okay? It's a TV show that's actually loosely based on the Murdoch family. Uh, and it's, it's a fictitious show though, uh, about a family that owns a media empire uh, and the acting is off the charts especially from Kieran Culkin, who's one of the 8 million Macaulay Culkin brothers. And the acting is also awesome from uh, Brian Cox, the guy standing up there uh, who plays Logan, who's the head of the family. You know, the first generation makes the money, the second spends it, and the third has not. Number four is Francis Ford Coppola's iconic film, Tucker, which is a true story, actually, about a guy that tries to take on the big three automakers. And Jeff Bridges is so awesome in this movie and it is so inspiring as well because he has a positive attitude like all great entrepreneurs do. Number three is TV show Shark Tank, which is about several high net worth investors, including Mark Cuban here, doing many case studies about investing in startups. 
Now, the quality of many of the questions asked is how real investors uh, approach investing in startups. So when you hear the types of questions they ask, they usually ask about the size of the market. Take note of that. And when you try to raise money or write a business plan uh, on, on your company, um, just take note of the questions they ask because this is pretty real. Now, the way it works in this show, the way it really works, is each startup pitches an idea for about 10 or 15 minutes. And I've met people that have gone on the show. And the reality is this though. The pitches are often one and a half to two hours long each. And then in post-production, the show's editors only keep the most entertaining 10 to 15 minutes uh, of the startup pitches. Number two, the social network. I can't think of a better actor to play Zuckerberg than Jesse Eisenberg. And all of Eisenberg's movies are great. But in this movie about Facebook, you see how being unemotional in business can help you a lot. Okay, although I'm not a, of course, I'm not a fan of the unethical nature of how he screwed over his friends who co-founded Facebook with him. But you got to be unemotional in business if you want to succeed, especially in the stock market. Number one, and this is surprising, but this one is Jerry Maguire, because in this movie, you actually feel the pain of the business person working in an awful bureaucracy. And he, Tom Cruise in the movie, Jerry Maguire, and he thinks with his heart and he quits to start his own company. I love the passion on the movie. And I had to make this one number one because it was actually the first date movie uh, that my wife, Christine, and I went on. And she loved the romance side of it. And I love the sports and entrepreneurship side of it. And throughout the movie, uh, there are very, very small clips of this fictitious motivational speaker named Dickie Fox. And what he does is he kind of mentors Tom Cruise in the movie. So if you have time, please search YouTube for Dickie Fox, Jerry Maguire because Fox said one thing during that movie in 1996, years ago, he said one thing that really shaped my outlook on life, which is this, if this is empty, this doesn't matter.